yeah, Derry is well known for its warm people and uh, despite the problems it has as a city, um, the people have a very warm heart and they're very funny, resilient. Yeah. There is also bright, you know, blue, white, red stripe. So it means, well, what does it mean, John? So these are the colors of the Union Jack. So it represents that this is a unionist area. And what's it called? This area, I believe, is called the Fountain, which is a small unionist area in the very middle of the city of Derry. And it's the only one of its kind in within the city centre, as far as I know. It's a bit like an enclave yeah. because it's right in the in the middle of uh, of the town of the city. I mean, yeah, it is, and I suppose because it's relatively small, um, I believe from some of the murals, the the people have felt um, a little bit attacked and vulnerable. Um, the There are a lot of flags, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty heavy going with the representation. Yeah. And it's just by the walls of the city, because can you explain us? Is, there, is it symbolic that it's so close to the walls or...? That I don't know. I don't understand uh, about the, the location, um, I'm afraid. Wow, look! Yeah, there is a uh, wall. Did you see that before? No. no oh, no, no. wow! It goes back, uh, probably, it's, maybe it's because it's a historic sort of... Uh, dedicated to the memory of all those who died in the first and second world wars and more recent conflicts wow i never saw that before doesn't it look like the top is older than the bottom definitely yes. it's like the top is from an old yeah and very old and this is very new absolutely mm. well spotted Yeah, you see they seem to be quite protected. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, sort of vulnerable and in a Yeah and I can understand a cul de sac, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna have to make a U-turn. I believe they are an easy target being here in the middle of the... I believe so. I mean, they're obvious, I would imagine they're a very strong community in that they support each other and feel safety within, um, within close proximity to one another. Yeah. But I think traditionally Derry um, is split into two parts, uh, the city side and the water side, mm -hmm. uh, separated by the river foil in the middle and I'm not sure but I think the city side is more typically known as Catholic and the water side is more typically known as Protestant all right but that's changing with time yeah um, it's becoming much more integrated I think so it's like there is our borders inside the city clearly yeah yeah and they have that. it looks like they've got a Maybe it's their own school or... Yeah, probably. Well, they've got their social club. Definitely. And I think they have their own crash as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit insular and... and yes. It's a little bit sad, really. Yeah. But... I suppose we don't know how integrated any of these people are with the other side. Mm. They could be very well integrated. But yeah. I suppose you can... You can still have all of the... Uh, expressions of your identity and be proud of that plus be integrated I guess absolutely there are good examples of people who integrate and then you know still keep their yeah it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive so, no yeah. so I think I'm gonna stop for a few, a few pictures somewhere so I'm just gonna go up to see a bit more here because I think there is a good one here, a wall. 
Yeah. Mm. This is this one. This is the one I was referring to, the feeling of being under siege. Yeah. Yes. Still under siege, yeah. And clearly you can see there were fire here on the right. Yeah, I wonder was that from... Is it for us like a bonfire? Oh, I'm not sure. There could have been some kind of thing there. Yeah, there is a school, look. Primary yeah, from primary, primary, primary school. school. Yeah. Right, guys, I think I'm going to park somewhere here. I take it the French way, you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea. Yeah. Down there beside the really bold, like almost angry sign, there's another mural, well, a little post, and it's more positive and more more gentle. This one? It, Peace if possible, truth at all costs. Martin, Where was it was? Martin Luther? Between 71 and 91, the Protestant population of the city side declined by 83.4%. As Oh no, it's not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I thought it was more about <laughs> peace and coming together, but it's quite divisive. The Protestant population of the city side declined. Okay, so that's, I'm right, the city side is more uh, a Catholic yeah. percentage. Yeah. So but like but, but why put that there? Yeah. It doesn't... It's not resisting. Uh, yeah, I guess. Hmm.